Hi! In today's video, we are going to write a program that will generate random nonsense sentences. So, what does that mean? What do we mean by random nonsense? Let's just run the program and see what it is. So, here we can see this program when we run it, it just generates some random sentences. All the sentences start with the word Dracula, but after that, it's just completely random. So, how do we write a program like this, which generates these kind of sentences? Well, first we need some kind of source material. And I've got here a copy of the book Dracula. Now, you can use any kind of source material that you want. I just picked this one up. Okay, now if we want to generate random sentences, there are a couple of ways to do it. The most basic is to just read this file and randomly choose words. Now you can do that, but then the sentences that you get would not look like English at all. Now if you look at these sentences, although they are rubbish sentences, but they kind of look like proper sentences. And that's what we're trying to get to over here. So how do we write a program that gives us sentences like this? Well, what we are going to do is, instead of just completely randomly choosing a sentence, what we will do is, we will try to figure out what are all the possible words that can come after any given word. For example, let's take the word Dracula. We can see in this file that after the word Dracula, one possible word to follow is as. And another one is, is, and here we have another one is had, and then you have and, and so on. So here you go, Dracula is sometimes followed by indeed. So what we are going to do in our code is like this. We will have a dictionary which has all the words. So, for example, Dracula and what are all the possible words that could come after this word. So, indeed and has and so on. We will read the entire file and try to calculate this. And then we can do this for all the words. So, for example, after and, what are all the possible words that can come after and? and uh, so on, we repeat this for all the words in the document. Then when we want to generate our sentence, we'll start with one word, we'll start with Dracula. Then from for the next word, we will choose a random word from this list. These are the words that we know from the source document can follow after Dracula. So, we will choose one of these words. Let's assume we chose and. Okay, for the next word, we will look at and and we will see what are all the words that could follow after and. And then we will choose one of those words. So let's say it was I. And then for the next word, we will look at I and see what are all the words that could follow after I. And then we will choose one of those words. And so on, we will keep continuing this way until we reach the end of a sentence. So our code is going to have two parts. One part is to create this kind of data structure and then the second part we will use this data structure to actually generate the random sentence. Let us go ahead and create this data structure. First thing we need is a list of all the words in that book. Alright, now that we've got the list of words, we now need to calculate this. We need to know for each word, what are all the possible words that could come as the next word. Okay, so for doing this, we need to go through the list of words two at a time. So I need the word as well as what is the following word. Now how do you do that? In Python, there's a very simple way to do that. 
So let's assume we had a list like this. Okay. And we want to go through the list two at a time. That means I want the first time I want this is. And the second time I want is a. And the third time I want a sentence. So the way to do that is we create another list which has all the words except the first word. So this gives us another list is a sentence. And then we zip these two up. Like that. So this gives us a list of the word as well as the next word. Okay, so we'll just do that. So this gives us a list for the entire Dracula, two at a time. So the word and the following word. So we loop through that. And now that we've got the word, and we've also got what is the following word, we now need to store that. So we'll create a dictionary. Let's call it word dict. So word dict dot word, that will give us the list associated with that word and in that list we will add next word to it. So something like that. Okay, so let's create this dict. I'm going to use a default dict here. So I need to import that. And uh, Let's just test this out. Let's print for the word Dracula. So this will tell us what are all the words that can come after the word Dracula. So you can see that it has indeed created the data structure and by reading this document, these are all the words which can come after Dracula. You can see that some of the words are duplicated. That doesn't matter. It just means that we have a higher probability of selecting those words. If you don't want to have that duplication, then we can just use a set over here instead of a list. Okay, so now that we have created the data structure, we can now use this to create our random sentence. So we'll start with the word Dracula. And then we need to now print it out. We'll print it with a space separating the words. And then now we have to select the next word. So how do we select the next word? Well, we look at our word dict for the current word. And that will give us a list of all the possible choices for the next word. So we will randomly choose one of those. Okay, and we will keep doing this. Until we have a word that ends with a dot. And finally, we will print the last word. Okay, so this is the second part. Here we are going to use the data structure to generate a random sentence. So let's look at it. So there we have one random sentence. We start with the word Dracula. For the next word, we have to choose one of these words, which is here in this list. And our program has chosen the word was. Then to choose the next word, it looks up the data structure for the item was. And that will tell what are all the words which can come after was based on our source document. And it has chosen the word doubtless. Then it looks up the data structure to see what are the words that can come after doubtless and it chooses one of those. And it goes on like this until we reach a word which ends with a full stop. And that is our program. I call this program gibberish. It just generates random sentences which looks like a regular sentence.